Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. So a couple days ago, I did some retail arbitrage and hit a couple of state sales with longtime friend but new Sources Apprentice, Michael Bunn. So today I'm shooting a video on our estate sale finds, and um, tomorrow then I'll do a video on the retail arb. So let me show you what I found. First estate sale we went to was kind of disappointing, didn't have a whole lot of stuff, but it did have these two boxes of Christmas stuff, and you know, Christmas Q4 is right around the corner. This entire box of snow, you can see it was marked down to $5. These bags are pretty long tail now, but um, you know, this is middle September, so we're about as far away from last Christmas's sales as we can get before they start picking up again, so I expect the ranks are not going to be indicative of what we can see coming up soon. So, uh, these bags of snow, I'll probably be able to list these for seven, eight, maybe nine bucks a piece, and I only paid five dollars for the whole box. Same thing here, this is a box of icicles, like um, tinsel, you know, for the tree. Last Christmas, during the after Christmas sales, I bought a whole bunch of these, not the same brand, but boxes of tinsel, and I paid 15 cents a piece, and in January and February, I sold all of them at nine bucks a box. Go explain that. I, I can't. I don't know why people are buying tinsel in January and February. But I paid three dollars for this entire box here. So I will list these for eight, nine bucks, and we'll see if we can sell them for Christmas. More Christmas stuff. Got this um, Christmas tree stand mat. Paid three dollars for that, <clears throat> and I will list that for about fifteen bucks in this adorable peanuts window cling countdown calendar. Isn't that freaking cute? Paid three dollars for that, and I'll list that for about twenty. Second estate sale we went to was on 25% markdown day. So I got this gorgeous little typewriter, not for 25 bucks, but for 17 whatever. This entire box here has a bunch of CBs and microphones and accessories and stuff, CB radios. I don't know why this guy collected so many CB radios, but I made an offer on the entire box. She countered, and I ended up paying 35 bucks for this whole box. There's at least half a dozen radios in there, and I'll be able to list those for 35 bucks a piece. Very, very good find. Look at this cool, cool, cool reel-to-reel -reel tape player with the speakers that attach in the cabinet. That was marked at $5, so 25% down. I paid $3.75 for that. Very happy with that. Uh, Darth Vader and Queen Amidala mug. Paid a quarter a piece for those, and I'll list those for about $10. bucks. i have never seen an iron with a charging plate. I thought that was pretty cool. That was 5 bucks. Well, uh, $3.75 with the markdown, and I'll list that for about $20. Uh, this book was only 75 cents. It's under 2 million rank, and there is zero FBA. Look at this, another thermos. I've sold two of these in the last couple of months for 30, 35 bucks. I only paid $4 for this one. That should sell quick, too. Uh, I think you guys have heard me talk about vintage colors and how um, those ugly 70s colors really sell. I've never heard of um, this brand of headphone. Wait a minute. What brand is this? I don't even remember. There we go, Selstrom. Selstrom. Dude, I spent years in the music business, and I've never heard of Selstrom headphones, but that vintage green color should sell those pretty well. Only paid a dollar for those. Oster hair trimmer, vintage in the box. Paid $3.75 for that, and I'll list that for about $20. Remington Princess in the box. Paid $3.75 with a markdown, and that will go for a little over $20. A couple of radios. I didn't even look these up, but, you know, they're pretty cheap, and I know those always sell well. This is really super cool, I thought. This says it is a driveway signal. So, you know, somebody comes in your driveway, it trips the wire or whatever, and the bell goes off in your house. How awesome is that? I only paid $3.75 for that. Um, if I remember right, I saw sold listings up around 40 bucks for that. So, this was fun. It's always fun to take somebody with me to sales, and it's just fun to get stuff. So, leave me some comments, let me know what you think, and tell me what you're finding in your sourcing.